Hey Aries and welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, my name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you like the vibe, you like the content, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is greatly appreciated. This is your July energy reading, okay? So for Aries, uh, wherever you might have that in your chart, this is for you. Also, cross watchers, okay, if you're here, this message is for you as well. Please go ahead and like the video, you guys. Comment, I comment back. Make sure you subscribe, turn on your notification bell if you are liking the content. Um, and share this information with your friends, okay, or fellow Aries as well. The more you interact with the content, the more it actually puts your energy into these readings for me to pick up on, okay? Um, so we're going to start off with this uh, Sacred Spirit Oracle deck for you guys. My intention is to pull three cards, so we'll see however many spirits wants to come out, okay? Um, also, if you guys are interested in a t-shirt, Pure Black Magic t-shirt like the one I am wearing, you can visit the website pureblackmagic.com, okay, to order yours. It comes in men's and women, okay, masculine and feminine fits, okay? Um, along with the attraction oils, the manifestation oil as well is on the site, okay? So check that out. So we got one card out here for you already, Aries. Let's pull two more. There we go. Okay. So let's see what's going on with your energy for July going into July. So the first card out is Guardian. It says to guard your energy. All right. Taurus actually just had this card. Um, and I think Scorpio had it as well. Sorry, guys. I got some lotion on my hands. Um... And I just feel the need to say, like, I just, I planned on doing four different readings today, okay? So, Scorpio, um, Libra, Taurus, and you, Aries. And for some strange reason, I'm seeing a connection between all of you guys' readings. So, look, we'll see what happens in yours. But I don't know. There's something about Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, and Aries, okay? So, you could be involved with maybe the three other signs or have all of those signs in your chart or something like that. The next card out is love and light. It says to act with care. Okay. The third card out is divine will. It says to let go of fear. Okay. Guard your energy, act with care and let go of fear. Okay. I really feel like you guys are, um, like you're pulling back from a situation or a person. Um, you're pulling back your energy. You are preserving your energy. You're protecting your energy here, okay? Um, or with this guardian, um, this is kind of like a message, a warning for you to guard your energy from something or someone, something that might happen in the month of July, okay? You also might have a guardian, like someone who is a little protective or a lot of overprotective in regards to you. And that could be, they could be showing that side of, them, of themselves in July, um, or some sort of guardian angel as well is what I'm picking up on. Act with care and let go of fear. Okay. So I feel like you are, your, your mood, your energy is just very, um, it's very neutral. Okay. You're not doing too much. You're kind of just giving to people what they give to you. Okay. Um, not investing too much of your time, energy, or anything um, into anything or anyone is what I'm really feeling. And then divine will, I kind of get the energy like you're just surrendering to what's going on around you. Um, the mindset of what will be will be, or if it's meant to happen, it will happen. Okay. Um, hmm. There's something that you're no longer afraid of happening like the outcome or you're no longer overthinking it or having anxiety about it okay at the bottom of the deck we have channel your knowledge it says critical judgment all right so um maybe you've had to make a very harsh decision as of recently all right or in the month of july you will um based off of some sort of information you receive or wisdom maybe you've already um kind of known about something or someone i feel like you're just reflecting okay and you're weighing out like the pros and the cons i kind of just heard um like you're connecting the dots to something as well here um but there's an action that you're taking to um in regards to a situation to move forward or or to not move forward okay away from something or someone or towards it is what i'm really feeling okay um, and you're being stern, you are putting these boundaries down, but it's necessary. You might feel like you're being a little bit too hard on yourself or other parties involved, but I feel like this, whatever's going on is necessary for you to have, um, for you to be this stern, okay? For you to have this position, kind of like a king of swords or a queen of swords position is what I'm feeling here. All right. It's necessary to guard your energy. So 
let's see what comes out in the tarot for you guys for my Aries okay we got the ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck um so it could be some sort of opportunity or money or something that you're coming up on in the month of July um and you need to protect yourself or protect anyone else from like getting to it having access to it okay I'm hearing um that you need to up your security like on your passwords or your bank accounts and stuff like that as well Okay, this opportunity is strictly for you. It's like a golden opportunity and it kind of feels like a lot of different people want a piece, wants a piece of this pie, okay, or whatever this is for you. Let's see, what's this guardian? Guard your angel for my airy spirit. Okay, so we got the king of wands and we have the two of pentacles. So here you are, Aries popping out in your own reading. This could also be um, Leo Sagittarius, but the king of wands is a fire um, a fire sign. So you could have someone who's very protective over you, who is um, embodying this king of wands energy, even if it's feminine. Okay, there's no gender in tarot. So just flip it how you see fit. Um, and this is a very general reading. So again, flip it how you see fit. Two of pentacles and we have the page of pentacles. So somebody's, um, I feel like this is you, Aries. You're trying to figure out, it's like you're juggling a decision or two different things, two different entities. You're trying to figure out how to move forward, okay? Or if you should move forward or start all over with something, start from the beginning. I'm hearing the ground up, okay? Um, hmm. I feel like a decision that you're trying to make is going to require you to start all over. So maybe a lot of hard work that you've already put in or invested in one situation or person, it's kind of like you leaving it or disconnecting from it. You making some sort of decision is going to require you to start all over. But I feel like this is for your betterment. It's something that you have to do to protect yourself and to protect your energy um, or someone you care about here, okay? Nine of Swords, yeah, but you're not happy about what you have to do here or it's really bothering you. Having to um, set something in stone, put something in place is really bothering you, okay? It's keeping you up at night. It's also what I'm getting here. All right, let's see. What is love and light? Act with care for my Aries for the month of July. The Page of Cups. I think I um I mentioned this in Taurus's reading as well. This Page of Cups has been popping out all over um the energy for today, all over the four signs that I mentioned to you guys just now. So I don't know if a water sign is just very significant or there's something about um, maybe a child. Maybe this is a family matter. Um, but we have the Page of Cups. We have the High Priestess. Okay, so heavily Pisces energy as well here. This could be you or someone else. I'm really getting child because a page, a page is usually like a child or someone who's immature or younger or um, childlike men mentality. And then the high priestess has a baby here as well. Um, so act with care. I don't know. So now I'm picking up on you guys needing to accept. I don't know if there was a child that kind of just um, some sort of news was revealed. This child is just now being found out about. And there's a situation where it's you or someone else is struggling with uh, accepting this child into the family or something like that. Um, I don't know if there's been like a third party situation or what's going on, but that's just what I'm hearing. Okay. And I just looked at the bottom of the deck is the 10 of swords. So this is some sort of betrayal. This is the ultimate betrayal here. So that, that story could resonate with someone with like an outside child or something with a family member. Um, that needs your help. It's like someone that you should embrace or you want to embrace. It's encouraging you to embrace um, something with this Aqua Care card. Okay, love and light. Let's see, what else? Six of Swords. Yeah, I'm really feeling the energy of you guys taking someone in. So if this is not a child or a family member, um, this is you. Maybe someone may be like reaching out to you or this person has a problem, an addiction, a habit or something like that. Someone's very needy of your, your love and your care. OK, um, someone who can't necessarily do for themselves at this time. Six of Swords. I feel like this is somebody coming towards you. OK, um, or somebody's asking you for some sort of help, even if it isn't like necessarily you letting them into your home. OK. Um, but that's what I'm getting. They're seeing you as like love and light. They see, they're seeing you as caring and nurturing here. Um, somebody's confiding in you. They might be telling you some sort of secret about themselves or something that no one else knows about as well. Um, 
And I feel like it's possible that you are the only person that can really help this individual or they feel like that, like you're the only person they trust, okay? If this is um, resonating with you, this could also be the, the opposite way around, okay? Um, if it's not necessarily resonating with you or you could be hearing about someone dealing with this situation in the month of July. Um, yeah, Ten of Swords. It could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, um, but it does not have to be, all right? So let's see. Divine will let go of fear for my Aries for the month of July. What do we have, Spirit? Divine will let go of fear for my Aries. All right, ooh, tower, okay? So I feel like um, you or someone else, like you're fearing this tower moment. You're fearing kind of like the shit hitting the fan or you're fearing like somebody blowing up on you or someone's reaction. Um, there's a fear surrounding whatever this secret is or whatever the, whatever has been hidden here that's coming out. There's a fear of um, what this could do to a situation or a family or a relationship, like the outcome of whatever this is. What else do we have? We'll let go of fear. We have Ace of Wands and we have Three of Wands. I feel like somebody's trying to, um, that's the Four of Wands energy too, with the Ace and the Three. It's like someone is trying to It's almost as if someone is just waiting for this to happen. Like it's only a matter of time before whatever this tower moment is, whatever is exposed is exposed. It's only a matter of time before the truth comes out here. Like somebody's just waiting. Um, but they're also a little bit, they know like the effect this can have on whatever type of situation this is. Okay. So they're very fearful of it. Um, someone's also trying to manifest. It's like, yeah, I'm I'm constantly getting like you trying to help someone out, trying to um, help someone get on their feet or like grow up or develop or something like that in some sort of way. Or um, this is someone coming to you wanting this from you as well. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles. OK, so it could be an earth sign, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Um, I'm just picking up on a random, a random scenario with someone who is. Um, getting a divorce, okay, so maybe or separated or something like that. A friend could be coming to you wanting to um, stay in your home, stay at your place, you know, for a little while until they get their money together or get themselves together. Um, let go of fear, okay. This could also be in regards to the workplace or finances or however you make your money. Um, I feel like something is crumbling down, okay, or something is ending here. All right, but it's giving you the strength to start all over. I keep getting starting all over. So I don't know if something ends abruptly or if it already has, um, but it's actually kind of clearing the, the path. It's like a blessing in the in the skies. Maybe you're finding the silver lining in this situation in July because um, it's actually like clearing the way for you to try something new, okay? Or for you to do something that's better, a better fit for you or for you to finally let go of something here. It's kind of like the universe is coming in and it's making this completely fall apart um, because your spirit, guys, your ancestors, you know, God has had enough of seeing you go through this. So whatever this new start, a new beginning is for you, it was, it was really planned that way, okay? Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Six of Wands, Two of Wands, Queen of Wands, Four of Wands. Definitely something about a relationship, heavy fire energy. Okay, Aries, this is you. The Queen of Wands is here now as well. Um, hmm. Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Somebody is in their head about um, if something could work out or not. Okay, they're feeling indecisive. This is you or possibly this person that's confiding in you. Um I feel like it's just too many people involved, honestly. I'm getting like I'm getting like three or four people involved here. Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, and then it's the Four of Wands relationship, Four of Swords, and then a Nine of Wands. I don't know if some sort of information comes out and then like the person that's like behind it all or the person that's in the wrong kind of like is trying to like ghost somebody or put somebody out. It's a very strange energy that I'm picking up on. Chariot, Seven of Wands, Hella Wands, okay? Um, wands represent like magic as well, manifesting as well. It's a lot of action going on for you in the month of July. Will of Fortune, Seven of Swords, there's that damn King of Swords. Hmm, 
and three of cups okay let's pull some energy cards for you guys to see what's going on all tied up is at the bottom of the deck already okay right behind that i see the angel of love all right and then i see victory okay and contract so i kind of feel like you're you win like you're winning something or um you were once stagnant or all tied up or caught up in a situation that wasn't really the best for you in some sort of way like some sort of miracle happened something was exposed something was illuminated with the sun card i just saw um and i also saw adjacent possibilities and it like opened up a like a whole is the word plethora of doors for you guys like just a bunch of different opportunities came from this um so tragic moment or what some people might view as tragic okay but it was actually again a blessing in disguise for you what else do we have for my aries we're gonna um end it wrap it up with these energy cards okay so we have rest and rejuvenate we have financial constraints we have cornucopia we have yin and yang and we have door to personal healing and happiness i felt like that was about to get better as i just pulled those last two cards so rest and rejuvenate i'm i'm here like there's no need to fear like let go of fear relax okay um don't overthink don't overreact that's why you have this let go of fear here as well financial constraints whatever was lost here whether it's monetary a job a relationship something that was taken stolen from you energetically physically mentally emotionally spiritually whatever it was it's like i'm almost hearing um like a voice saying rest like rest my child like everything is going to be taken care of you're going to be taken care of or you are telling this to someone else you're going to be taking care of somebody you just want them to rack to um rest and relax and not worry um and then the cornucopia okay that's that happiness that bliss that abundance bringing back in this balance with the yin and yang card okay and then door to personal healing and happiness you, either you are healing and someone is is like helping you you're confiding in someone somebody is really helping you through whatever this is um or you are really you are really like the main person in helping someone else heal it in the month of July, okay? We have the seventh chakra at the bottom of the deck. This is your crown chakra. Um, and again, this, this is the same as that high priestess energy. It's like you hold some sort of knowledge. You have the crown. You have the power. You are holding this secret. Um, but it's like you're trusted with whatever information this is okay or whatever the situation is you are very valued and you're very trusted okay to this person or in this situation the garden and the gate contract it's like you know that someone is scared here i feel like you're yeah an attachment walking away somebody's stuck in some sort of commitment marriage or something that they no longer want to be a part of and maybe they're scared to leave or they don't know how to get themselves out of this okay if this is not you and i feel like you're the golden one like you are the one that can help this person i'm not really sure how okay maybe you might be saving somebody from something in the month of july um and this can be completely somebody you do not know it could be a stranger and something just happens okay um but yeah aries i'm gonna leave it here so that if this is your message please give me a thumbs up letting me know that you like the content leave me a comment i comment back you guys share subscribe and i will see you next time